This one's gonna be on this cool script, which I'll have to take partial credit for, even though I didn't do shit. All right. <laughs> well, the full credit goes to uh, one of my viewers. His name is Minai. Uh, well, that's his alias. His, his alias is Minai, and he does other stuff. But this is the script that he wrote for me because I was complaining about the Ubuntu Software Center, um, and I, I only wanted to, you know, read the comments from there, uh, from the command line. So I don't want to waste time opening that stupid thing. Anyways, he actually wrote me one, and it's actually really awesome, all right? Uh, it's just a Python script, so let me show you the list here. So this is the Python script, and um, make sure you chmod plus exit, right? So this one uh, this now uh, has permission to start it, so we're going to start it here. Package uh, dash comments py, and then you just type in... Uh, you know the the name of the package that you're looking for. So if you want to do uh, read reviews on Guinea, um, the ID for you know some programming language and stuff like that, you see that it'll come out and <clears throat> it'll get the comments from the users. So they got different users here, and they give the ratings, uh, the ID, and here's the summary of it, and here's the review, right? Uh, you can do this for any packages that exist in the Ubuntu Software Center. Um, but since this is a script, you don't want to go, you know, dot slash package every time. So what we want to do is put this in our bash RC file so it would be more convenient. Um, <clears throat> so to do that, I'm going to use Vim for this, but you can use any editor you want. And what the hell's my script part here? Uh, there you go. This is it. All right. Oops. There you go. Let's make a new entry. Alias. We'll call this what he called it. Package comments. And we're gonna point it to my path scripts um, prime. And what the hell was the name of that? One second. Ls package dash comments dot py. Okay. Package dash comments dot py. Okay, that's it. Save that sucker. Uh, let's reload our bash rc list. Um, what is that? There you go. Boop. There you go. Uh, now you just type in package comments, and then you know what we did before, like Guinea, and it'll just get the <coughs> the user reviews for it. Now, if you want to get more uh, extra options, let's go package comments dash h, and you have um, you know different options you can do here. So h is for help, v is to just print the versions. So let's say if I do v and do guinea, it's just going to tell me the version. Um, oh no, that's the, I don't think that's the version of this. I think it's the version of this script. I mean, yeah, it's the version of this script. Never mind. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so, what else is that they have here? The quiet mode. If you don't want it to, you know, print out like, um, you see here, what they got? We did Genie before. If you want quiet mode, it's not gonna print out like I'm downloading page one, two, three, or whatever. It's just gonna do it automatically, uh, without you know, bothering you, until you have all the data. So let's go back to the comments. Let's see. I mean the the help file. What else they have? They have release. So if you have, uh, or you want to read like, um, what was the comments they have for Natty? And I think it goes back to Maverick and all that too. I'm not sure exactly though, but you know you can put Natty and all that. Let's try one of that, okay? So Genny, and then we try R, and then we put Natty. See, and then it goes for the release Natty here. Oops, there you go. That's the part. And this one has more uh, user reviews because, you know, uh, this newer version you know, just barely came out, so that's why I didn't have a lot of reviews. But there you go. You see that's still five star rating or whatever. So sometimes it's good to look at the older ones if the new release came out and you don't have a lot of reviews for it. I'm not sure if you can just go. <clears throat> let me try this. Uh, 11.04. Let's see if we can do that. No, you can't. You have to put the the name, the code name for it. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, this this is what I like to use it for, like uh, you know, typing out those shitty applications. Like what was that one? Computer janitor. That stupid one. Oh, that had no reviews. Oh no, it's called. You have to put the exact name. GTK. Right there, you go. And now it's downloading the page. See? Now this program was the default. I, I don't know why, but you know, people tell you don't use the fucking thing. It was stupid, and they had it there for like two or three releases, so I, it never made sense to me. Um, anyways, I'm gonna use this to read all of the the stupid comments. Uh, if he ever updates the this script, I would actually recommend um, you know, some different options. Like, let um, me give you an example. We'll do G Weber. Oh shoot, I spelled that wrong. What the fuck? G Whipper. <coughs> and it's downloading. Well, what I would like is that since it's always out, you know, it always outputs um, uh, the last one here is the oldest one. The newest one is always up top, and you know, I have to scroll up every time. That's just a pain. If you can actually reverse uh, the newest one at the bottom, which makes more sense for the command line user. Because you want to see the first one down here, and uh, the last one up top. Uh, so that's one thing. Maybe you can do like a, uh, you know, sort by ratings. Because um, sometimes I like to read the ugly ratings first, and then we get to the good ones or whatever. And maybe like color coding if you're gonna do that. Anyways, there's a lot of stuff you could do, but you don't have to do it. Uh, just my suggestion if you're ever gonna update the script let me know all right uh, for everyone that wants to use it just go to his site and look for the download section and then download the comment or what is it called package comments all right that's it for this one